morning and welcome back to the very sunny garden the weather's turned right completely round now and we've gone from cold wind to hot sunshine now the wind is coming from the east and if we've just got a little bit of traffic noise because that's over that side so I do apologize for that but we needed to get these jobs done and show you so if you bear with us we'll get them done now the blackberry what we did we tied all this on last year and then after it's cropped we cut it off and tied these new ones in now that's already cropping up there now these new ones if we just left them as you can see they just keep growing through the net and they get their ends broke off and all sorts so what I'm going to do is put one of these thin stakes in there and tie it with the string all I've done is put a bit of a old hose pipe on the string so the string's not rubbing them to break the break the skin on them because the skin is still a bit soft on them so what we'll do we'll get this stake hammered in it's only a light stake look but it's, it just wants holding there's no weight so we'll hammer that in if we can and we'll pop this in if I can get it down a bit it is in solid clay down there so it might it is going down that'll have to do I think as I say the ground is solid clay and there's no chance of getting this hammered into there when we've been as dry as we've been now as I said before it's just a bit of string or rope actually through a piece of old hose pipe and once I get my measure where I want it there so we'll put it there we'll tie one end on and then put it on and then tie the other end above it I think that's the best way There you go, that's not going to slip now. Now bring these down, these will grow quite a bit more. So we might have to put another stake in and carry them on. But it, I think I've got all the kind up here. And then I'll just tie this on and leave it then. Now, when this blackberry is finished cropping, that'll load that nicely. Now, when this blackberry is finished, fruiting will cut off all those fruited canes, then tie in these new canes for next year then. We'll just pop round and do the other side. Now you can see where they start growing through the top of the net and if they get too big up there when I pull them back it snaps them off and this one's growing so there's more on this side actually than what we had on that side right upside down here actually going in better than the other one that'll do and then we just want them move so sort of there-ish with the bottom
Now we'll get it all in. Now these canes will continue growing if they get to the side we'll have to move them a little bit and get a bit more angle because if you turn them too tight they'll just snap. I don't want to screw too many leaves into the rope but we have to do a little bit. I think that will hold these. There's quite a few shoots that are quite long and may come enough. But if you look at them, let's find one to be easy to show. If you look at them, they're actually fruiting shoots because they're off last year's canes. So we will get extra blackberries off those as well. The blackberries that we've got on are actually setting the fruits now. So we need some rain to fatten those berries up. Failing that, I shall have to irrigate. We have a little bit of work to do in the bottom greenhouse, but while we're down there, we'll tip one of those potato buckets out and see how they're doing. We need some for the weekend anyway. On our way down, I'll just show you the courgettes, the pumpkins and the squashes. Now we've had no rain for a long, long time. And I've, what I do in the evening now, I come down with my big watering cans and I water these through the bottles, two litres into each bottle. And although the ground is very, very dry around them, as you can see, they're growing very well and they're beginning to fruit now. And all it is is water down there. And actually it saves a lot of water because if you're wet everywhere, you're just wetting the surface. The roots will come up and within an hour, all that water's gone anyway. As we go past the cabbages, you can see they're standing very well and they've not had a drop of water this year. A little bit of slug damage, but that's nothing. We'll take this one. I'll just take these. I had to put these canes in just to hold them up, to stop them flopping on the walkway. Right, let's see what we've got. Now we have got four, so this one will give us an indication of what we've got. Also, a few potatoes for the weekend, hopefully. Um, now we'll just cut the tops off. It'd be easier to cut them while they're on the side than I'm stood up, actually. Now, as always, these won't be composted. I should put them on the side until they're dried out and then put them in the incinerator. Right, here we go. Well, we have a potato, as you can see. Oh, we've got quite a few, actually. I should put them in the trug as we do it. If you think that's what we put in, just three potatoes, and this is what we're going, hopefully, to get down. So I've got my three potatoes back. That's the, that's the seed that we put in. They always go rotten, so do be careful when you're doing it. That means these will want washing because I'm not washing my hands and starting again. There's another seed look. Right. We could have left them a little bit longer, I think. We would have filled the bucket. Right, let's have a 
have a bit of a turn and see what we got. Quite a few in it. Don't forget to use all the potatoes that you find in this compost. Even the small ones, you don't if you're going to reuse compost. This will go into our compost bin actually. They're just roots look in the bottom. Wet roots. I'll just turn it a bit. So you must get those out. That's the now this compost will be, I'll put it through the screen and then put it into the spent compost bin. But I'll tell you something about this now. This is actually, this compost is what we've actually made on the garden. It's not bought in, it's a little bit of soil and our own compost, what we've made through the compost bin on the garden and a little bit of salad waste etc from the house it looks it looks quite good i think it was quite successful looking at the potatoes we got out of that one pot i think the compost is working well so we'll probably do that again pleased with that that's a pat on the back for ourselves making that compost and we will make it again it's quite simple we will be planting the swift potatoes again uh, in august for the christmas run so we can get some nice new potatoes at christmas so we might have to just pop a few in the fridge just to chill them and then bring them out and store them so that the skin's harden then we can plant them now we're in the greenhouse with a little job to do with these peppers. They're better peppers down here than what they were in the top. But if I remember right, I put the smallest in the top and the biggest here. The temperature in here at the moment is running at 32.9. And there's nothing I can really do now to cool it anymore. We need to put some canes into these peppers. As you see, I've got a flower stick in at the moment. That's not near strong enough to hold this when it gets loaded up with peppers. So we'll do these three. And we'll tape them and need them done. Don't put them too close, just just so the near to it. I'm not going to take the flower stick out yet. I should leave that in just to give it a bit more support. Better get them the right way around, haven't I? And that one in there. We'll use my old faithful tying machine. It's actually on blue tape now. And we'll tape it. We'll put two on each, I think. But if they're, I'll show you in a minute. If they're, like this one. If they're breaking at the top, if you just put one as low as you can. Now, if these other ones want support, then we'll use another cane at the sign. So if we go just below that break, and not too tight, remember, that's enough to support it, and then if these want support, we'll pull another cane. We just pop two on each, one lower down, just to take a bit of the waggle out, if you like. And this one. This, they've all, they all seem to have broken well this year. There's none going straight up.
can't get that one. Remember, don't let these go on the floor, put them in your pocket. But get them out before they go to the dishwasher. But get them out before they go to the washing machine. And one, I'm trying to get one down here. That's it. As you can see, that's what I've done, the flowering now, so as soon as someone with the canes being low on this side, we'll put caps on. The amount of times I've been caught with these canes, I always remember now. I'll just go round the greenhouse doing these and then I'll show you it all finished. Now that's the peppers caned and tied. As I say, these with several tops on them, if they need another cane, I'll slide another one into the pot and tape it on. There is quite a lot of weight in the peppers, so a bit like tomatoes, you need plenty of support. So that's those done. They have been watered, so they're nice and moist. The weather here is going to be very hot this weekend, which makes a beautiful change. And we are forecast by Monday to possibly have some thunderstorms and some rain. So I'm hoping that we get a few showers to really wet this ground because it really is cracking wide open there. Now that'll be it for now. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. A few little jobs to do. Uh, there's plenty more jobs still want doing while the crops are growing but we'll pick that up next time so thank you for watching thank you for subscribing we do appreciate it now take care everyone if you're in the UK put your hat on it's hot bye now